Okay, so we're asked to find the cube roots of unity. Well, that means, it's another thing that's saying that z cubed is equal to one. Roots of unity implies magnitude or modulus of one. So cube roots of one means z cubed equals one or one to the one third is what I'm looking for. But I know there's going to be three of them. So I'm going to convert this, get the modulus of this will be one. And the angle, the angle of this one is zero. If you just think about this is one plus zero i, which is on the x-axis, angle is zero. And so zk is equal to cis zero plus two pi k. And I'm gonna do this to the one third because it's cube, and so simplifying that, I get cis 2 pi k over 3. And so z0 will be cis 2 pi by 3. Z1, plug in 1 here. Well, let me back up there. Z0 will be a cis of zero. Z1 will be cis of two pi by three. And Z2, plug in the two, and we end up with a four pi by three. And these are the three roots of unity. B part now says, so this is A. B part now says, if W is the root of the smallest positive argument, shows that the roots show that the roots are one w and w squared. Well, smallest positive argument, that means it cannot be this one. This must be w, z1 is w. And so I want to show that the roots are one w and w squared. Well, this one here is easy enough to show that this is one. This is told we're w, and if I want w squared, well, that's gonna be cis two pi by three squared. Using the Mavra's theorem, I get cis four pi by three is w squared. And so these are the roots of one, the cube roots of one. Okay, so C part now says show that the three roots added equal zero, and then explain why this is true with an argand diagram. Well, if I consider this, it wants me to show that one plus w plus w squared equals zero. That's what I want to show. Well, one, w is cis two pi by three, which is cosine two pi by three plus i sine two pi by three, that's w, plus cosine four pi by three plus i sine four pi by three, because w squared I was shown was this. Simplifying this, Cosine two pi by three is a minus one half. Is a minus one half plus i root three over two positive. Plus this is again a minus one half. And this is minus i root three over two. Collecting like terms, I can see that one minus a half minus a half is zero. And those two are zero as well, and so it is zero. Therefore, one plus w plus w squared is zero, shown as asked in C part. There are other ways to do it, and uh, I'll show that in different, in different podcasts. Then it says to uh, explain why this is true in an argand diagram. Well, if I think about the argand diagram, this root here, one, let me do it in red, one 
is a length of 1 here. This here is the second root, which is over about here, where here's the vector. It's comprised of 1 half negative, and it's also comprised of a positive root 3 over 2. This here is the second w squared, and it's comprised of a negative root 3 over 2. They're equal and opposite, therefore they cancel. If I look at this is also negative 1 half, and so there's a negative 1 half for this line, and negative 1 half for this line. This is positive 1, therefore 0. They all balance each other out. So there's the Argand diagram that shows that. And then finally, generalize the nth root of unity. Well, I'm going to look at this statement here. This zk is for the cubed root of unity, because it was cubed, and I applied the cube to cis. So if I do it, generally speaking, that means zk is going to be cis 0 plus 2k to the power of 1 nth. Applying that, I get cis, 0 goes away, 2 pi k over n, and n will be whichever root you're looking for.